Hey everybody, how you doing this morning? Um, <coughs> um, I wanted to come on here and talk to you today about what's been happening and everything. You may see in the commercials about we're all in this together and the Pepsi talking about unity and everything and I admit I do drink Pepsi and everything but I don't agree with its globalist message of being one and that's what the um, coexist bumper sticker as you saw it that goes along with this agenda of unity and being one and it, all of this is just setting it up for a one world order and everything and yeah, if you think that the celebrities on there, oh, we're on in this together, and they think that they love you and they care about you, think again, folks. They do not love you. They do not care about you. They could care less if you live or die. If anything, the people that they're working for, they wish that you die. That's why, that's, I, that's why I believe that this thing... This coronavirus is man-made because they tried and tried and tried with everything that they could possible to kill us off and everything for depopulation, which is nonsense, which is utter nonsense. And again, if they, you think they care about you, do you remember what Jesus said? Jesus said, if they hated me, they will hate you too because they hated him first. Because they hated him, they will hate you. Yeah, folks. They don't love you. They don't care about you. They care about themselves because of their pride and their ego and everything like that. What well, makes me even sadder with the uh, We're In This Together commercials that they even got little kids in doing it. And you may be hating me for this, but... I think age, well, children who are at the age of accountability, who know the difference between right and wrong, I believe that they will be left behind. And people saying that, well, I don't think children will be left behind and everything like that. Well, if they know the difference between right and wrong and they're at the age of accountability, yes. Yes, 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 I believe that children will be left behind as well. Not babies, because uh, the Bible even talks about babies being in the womb and everything, and that it will be bad if a woman was pregnant during those times, you know? When the rapture happens, that's why I believe that incubators will be gone. The babies in the incubators, the incubators will still be there, obviously, but uh, little daycare centers and everything, children will be gone and everything because they don't know. And even though they have sin in their lives, they don't know the difference between right and wrong. They don't know and they'll understand what happened to them what Jesus went through on the cross for them but I'm kind of getting a little off track but I think this whole PSA commercial thing is going to continue into the tribulation but then they're going to have, uh, have a different message and that message will be taking the mark of the beast in their right hand or in their forehead and the, as I said, the Antichrist is going to preach this message of unity. You're seeing it right now. This is his message. But I do think that he's going to speak it from his mouth, obviously. Why else would they be doing this if this is not his message? To have you fooled and have you deceived. And the Bible tells us that be separate from the world and that 
we are in this, in this world, but we are not of this world. And the people who are of this world, they are the children of darkness. As we, we are the children of light. We don't belong to Satan. We belong to Jesus. And when we became born again, that's when we belonged to Jesus. You and I was a son or a daughter to Satan. But no longer because we gave ourselves over to Jesus Christ. And we gave him her hearts. And allowed him to come into her hearts to live. Along with the Holy Spirit. And don't buy into this. Do not buy into it. All of this is deception and is leading, I believe firmly, that it's leading into the tribulation itself. And, but let's talk about one other thing. If you're lost and you do not know Christ, after this video, I encourage you to stick around because there's going to be a video that will lead you in a prayer of salvation. There's a time that's coming up called the Tribulation. And it's going to be the worst kind of thing that this world has ever endured. And you do not want to go through it. But how can you escape it? You can come to Jesus Christ. You can come in the rapture with me. And with all other believers. And if you're watching this during the tribulation right now. You know what I'm talking about. And if it's that time already. Then I'm not really here. I'm in heaven. And. Again to you. Who are doing the tribulation. I'm speaking to you. If you never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you've already found out things that are happening that the Bible talks about what's going to happen. Then you know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about the blood which washes her sins whiter than snow. Let's talk about the cross. About Jesus and what he went through for us. So we can, may be free from our sins. And whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Well until we meet again. Up in the clouds or here. To God be the glory forever. Amen. I'm going to ask if everyone would please rise to your feet. And join those that are already standing. But there are many here tonight that have never made a decision to serve the Lord. There are many here tonight within the sound of my voice that have never said yes to Jesus Christ. You've never turned your life over to the one who invented life. To the one whose idea you were. Jesus says, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father which is in heaven. And if you will deny me before men, I will deny you before my Father which is in heaven. Right now, I'm going to ask you to do something that I did 20 years ago that radically changed my life forever. And that's make a confession of faith to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive Him as your Savior. There's an old song that says, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. We're going to sing that song and I'm going to ask we just kill these spotlights. We're just going to allow the searchlight of God's Word to be on our heart. If you've never been born again, I'm not talking about recommitting your life to the Lord. I'm not talking about having a word of prayer to feel better about yourself. I'm saying you've never said yes to Jesus Christ. You've never given your heart to Him. As we begin to sing, I'm going to ask you to do what thousands have done before you and make your way out to those aisles and come on down here to the front and stand around the perimeters of the stage. Only if you've never been born again. I
heads, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe that you sent Jesus to die for my sins. And on the third day, he rose up from the dead, conquering sin and death. I love you, Lord. And I want to live for you from this moment on. I ask that you forgive me of all unrighteousness. I renounce my old lifestyle. I renounce the works of Satan. From this day forward, my life belongs to Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. In Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. 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 Give God the praise here tonight. And let them know that we support them in their decision to make Jesus the Lord of their lives. Oh, come on, Atlanta. You can do better than that. The devil thought he had him, but he didn't.